welcome, welcome, welcome to the Alton Towers Resort where today we're going to see what is next for this wonderful park as well as experience lots and lots and lots of rides on Wicker Man. So hit like, hit subscribe and join us as we investigate. Where's my stew, Mary? Even more poo. Poo? I don't know who it was. Who was it? <laughs> was it him? Yeah. You did the poo. I admit it. I admit it. I admit it. And then there's a poo at home on the floor. Believe it, don't believe it, believe anything. I speak the truth. <laughs> Mary doesn't lie. Mary's Mary doesn't lie. I, I can't yeah, lie. I think she was I know, I did it in a bush. You bush. did it in a bush? <laughs> that was you last time then? Bush 25, I did it in. 25? Because 27's me out, so you don't do it in your house. No, that'd be weird. Where's your house then? Oh, I'll show you. Is it by Mary Tree? No. Oh, where's your house? <laughs> oh, is that your house? Yeah. Is this 20, 28? No, it's 25. Oh. Is what? 28 up for sale? 28's down there, around the corner. Oh, have you got good neighbours? Uh, I ain't got any. No? Not at the moment. I've got the birds. Yeah? There's a bird called Brian. Brian? Brian Bird. Bird. Brian Bird. And then we've got Gary. Is but Brian Gary's a, a nuisance. Gary goes on my tree. Oh, that's Mary why, Tree. That's why it's wrecked. Have you seen it? Is he wrecked? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We've not seen you in so long. Oh my goodness. He's been doing some destruction here. And that was Gary? It was Gary, Gary the Robin. Oh. oh. Never trust a Robin. <laughs> Are you going to make a new tree? Um. You could do a non upside down one. No, no, no don't be silly. <laughs> That's not a Mary tree. A Mary yeah, tree is root, roots up, stumped down. <laughs> See? Yeah, that was disgusting what came out of your mouth. Then. I oh, bet he did the poo because he's disgusting no, like that. He did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm I know, he's silly today, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Just warm it up. What's yeah, that? yeah. get the pitch. Hey, warm it up. Right. Is that Dua Lipa? No, this is Derek. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Dua Lipa. Oh, sorry. It happens. Yeah, it does, it doesn't it? Right, Derek, are you ready? Three. Love it? Yeah, I love a good Mac powered coaster. Mac product. Mac product. Thorpe needs, uh, no, not Thorpe. We're at Alton Towers this week. We are finally. Alton Towers <laughs> needs a new Mac product. Which Mac product would you like to see? Oh, Extreme Spinner. <laughs> I'd love an Extreme Spinner, but I think you've got a good point. We were just chatting. Um, Mac potentially wanting to do more darks and flats. And we know Alton Towers needs more indoor dark flats because britain a mac one would be cool yeah the uh the spinning thing going to eftelin yeah we were saying that'd be great for dark forest yeah feels like a good fit where the waltz as well yeah perfect yeah. perfect perfect so there's plenty of us here today and uh jake and heather from the bears escape were like yeah we're not going to the rapids uh it's pretty wet we were like no it's fine you'll be fine so we went on it they didn't turns out the waterfalls have been turned up quite a lot and so i have a very wet bum this is kind of like last week when uh the rapids at thorpe got me and i got revenge well 
the, the universe got revenge on me for Kate getting wet all those times, so... To be fair, we now have a... I think because it's turned up, we now have a pretty wet water ride, which is good, so fair play. Alton Towers have put out a video recently with some spoilers for Hex. Ooh. So, um, if you don't want to know, then skip this bit and skip their video. But Bianca did a lovely update telling us all about Hex, some of the work that they've been doing, showed us in the pre-ride area, the queue. Um, they had some of the, I think the engineering and the technical team in talking about the lighting, the sound work that they've been doing, which is really cool to hear from the park directly. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate transparency. Yes, thank they, you. Backing that up then said, when we started doing the project, there's a bit more work than we thought, first thought, so it's going to be a little bit later than opening, uh, opening than we thought, so it's now going to be autumn. Um, but they completely didn't need to put that info out and could have surprised us in the autumn, and it would still have matched the website and all the marketing, saying coming late this year. But it was nice they did. Yes, we appreciate transparency and setting the correct expectations. Mm. And if you don't tell us, we're just going to try and guess why anyway. So yeah. I think, let's just nip that in the bud. It's not yet. This is when it is. And I really respect that. Yeah. Well done, Team Towers. Woo. That was a ride on Gangster Granny, the ride. That was weird because I said the ride twice. Yeah, it seemed out of sync. I quite like it, you know, in terms of the audio and the little effects and stuff. I think that's pretty cool. However, yeah, it was a bit out of sync. And I don't quite know what it is. Like, we're going to the next section and then the curtain would be down. And we seem to be hearing effects and sounds from other rooms before we were in those like new scenes. So a bit off, not the best run through, but hopefully someone can sort it. Oh, there's like work people behind you. Interesting, what's going on? Agency at the ready. What did it say on their signs there, detective? One had an Alton Towers Resort logo and one said Ents Construction. Entertainment. Which, yeah. Ents Team. Which screams, haha, Scarefest. Earlier this season, Alton Towers announced that the dungeons would be closing. However, they said it would be closing for Scarefest, which is really interesting. And we've been theorizing about what exactly they can do. I mean, I'd expect it's going to be a scare maze. I expect it'll be an upcharge. However, is it going to be a dungeon themed scare maze? Is it going to be. A different theme scare maze? Is it going to relate to Project Horizon? Is it going to relate to Hex and the Towers? Is it going to be... Are they going to use the boat ride that's in there? Lots of questions. They did say when the dungeons were going to close, but then they've actually closed it earlier, which we think is a good sign, don't yeah. we? Purely because more time to work on it for Scarefest. Yeah. This thing's been there for years. I mean, we were going to do it, weren't we, before it closed. However, because so they closed so it like, early, we've not down managed to do it low down on people's priorities yes. when, when you've already paid for your either season pass or a day ticket an upcharge attraction that there's copies of in many cities many, it's, it's so low yeah. down like and with our million annual passes we get free entry to those and not to this one but i think i think they're playing the right game here clearly it's not doing well enough to warrant it being open let's close it sooner get it ready for scarefest because scarefest brings in the people and it will bring in the money they need and to have staff in there and stuff. So I think it's really smart. I think it's a really good move from the park. Really excited to see what they do with it. And yeah, I just think Scarefest is gonna be a big change this year. It's very much a case of quality over quantity for the events at the park. They have said that, so no, I, don't, I can't, remember, can't remember the events that should be on now, but they've not done them. They've got the CBBs bit, which we'll get to soon but we've got Oktoberfest again, which yeah. is a good fun, and the Scarefest, so, yeah. and fireworks and Christmas, so. I think the fact they've got this kind of like semi-permanent wall up as well is mm. a sign that it's not a tiny change for Scarefest. Like, if it was all gonna be like tweaks to what Dungeons was, yeah, I think they probably could have done it all indoors. Yeah, I the think you're right. the fact that this is up, I think is a good sign that we'll get a lot of changes. Me too, so fingers crossed we'll get to see that very soon maybe that was to be fair they'll probably announce it sooner won't they about what they're doing so yeah fingers crossed and let's get excited for what's going to happen next D I come clear. what i don't know what that means but it's on like the royal crest oh sorry got you got you got you yeah um so they they being on towers are offering house and garden walks house and garden tour tour and um, for 10 pounds per person 
and you tour the gardens in the house. Um, there's been, a, I guess there's been some controversy. People think that it should be free because the towers were an area you could go into previously for free. Um, it sounds from the early reviews like quite a good experience and a lengthy one at like a couple of hours. So I don't think £10 is bad for that. No, um, I agree. It would be nice if some of the towers were maybe in the future, like one small area was made free access for everyone, but... Like a taster session, yeah. a trailer. I think we were, we were chatting earlier and saying, if you're paying for your fast pass, not fast pass, season pass or your day ticket, a couple of hours is a decent amount of your day taken away for a tour. And I imagine most people come to Alton Towers for the rides, not necessarily the gardens anymore. Yeah, so it's more of an us thing, isn't it? I think it's quite a niche Fans. audience for this, but it's nice that they're doing it because it shows that they know there's other areas of the park that it tracks and bring people in. Yeah. And I don't think the cost is too bad for what you No. Get. £10 for a two hours tour is good and it's either £10 for a two hours tour or nothing yeah and ultimately that money's going to go to restore the towers surely they're going to use that money to look after yeah. it so I think yeah if you, by going on the tour and learning about the gardens and the house you're just investing in the gardens and the house yeah. so bring it on when it's, it's not sold out it's quite but yeah I was about to say it's quite popular so if you want to do it then reserve a spot because we had a look before this visit and Quite a few of the closer dates are fully booked. Yeah, so there should be more coming up. Keep it on the website for more details. Right, let's get some scran in that tummy. Try some food. I know where we're going. So us hungry boys are now in expo exposition food, get it right, which is down where we had some of the retro squad rides last year. So I suspect in the future, this will be a new flat ride area. However, for now, bringing in these temporary spots, so we've got pizza, burgers, a bar, without alcohol, because of licensing we assume, and fish and chips. And I think, you know what, it's all themed in, it's all black and orange, you've got different menus with everything going on. And I think it's a good shout, you know, it's nice to have some different options. Yeah, we have pizza, but it's up uh, in Mutiny Bay, not in Mutiny Bay, sorry, by uh, Runaway Mine Train in Katanga Canyon, but it's by Thick. This looks really thin, it's stone baked, so we've both got one of them each, with Merlin Discount as well, which is helpful. There's cool burgers that they've got on as well, lots of different sides. At the bar, as we said, there's no alcohol, but you can get different donuts, there's slushies, vegan hot dogs as well, and then your standard fish and chips with like your mushy peas, your curry sauce, that sort of thing. You know what, different options. Being like people who come here often, it's nice to have something different. It's a nice use of the area where there's benches, we can sit down for a bit, so I think it's a pretty good shot, you know? Happy to see. That and who's got a money-making scheme. Yeah, Aramark, hire me. <laughs> um, we've just sat in the rain, but now it's cleared up again. And um, yeah, what's uh, three, four pizza? It's decent. It's really nice. Mm. We were saying just a little bit more garlic bread. Yeah. Sure, that's yeah. easy, right? Garlic, butter, bread, done. Yeah, yeah. I think one, one pizza, if you're hungry, you can easily manage it per person. But I think if you're not, maybe not too hungry, you could share like a pizza and a smaller side like a garlic bread or some mozzarella dippers or chips so that yeah. could be the way to go if you're in like a couple or a group i think but garlic bread would work because i don't know if you have a fryer in there for the yeah. stick so i think garlic bread is an easy win yeah it was tasty though it's i'd really get it back 100 percent garnish with four basil leaves as Whoa, well look at you, Mark discovered a garden <laughs> and i uh, i got one of the project d donuts unfortunately it was stale but i got my money back they tried overcharging me the refund and I was like, no, I'm an honest man. You only owe me six pounds, not 750. So she was like, oh, thank you. And that was that. So she said they're the same batch. So likely they're all stale. So I'm going to get a proper one later on. Yeah, it was very hard. We think we spotted some of the, like the masking tape when they're painting. So there's some brighter bits of yellow that don't have blue near them. And then the sort of main antenna -y bit in the middle has some blue between the yellow stripes which is probably where they're going to do it like grey or black later. So it looks like they're actively repainting the Marmalizer. Yeah, it's looking very fresh, very nice. Mm. It's instantly yellow, almost fluorescent, very noticeable as yeah. soon as we walked in, wasn't it? Yeah, looks good. Yeah, well done, Towers. Upkeep, please. Mary's been here. Mary, you doing? Really, it's the Marmal. <laughs> you can see where it's come out. Yeah, it's called a hole. <laughs> the mole hole. Here. <laughs> He's going, we might never see you again. It's haunted round there, Henry. There's 
gone. He's gone now, that's he's it. Gone. Oh no, he's Are you scared? Like, yeah. Look in that hole. Look in there. Don't need to ask him twice. <laughs> It's nice in there, it's got a blue ceiling. Oh, oh blue ceiling. Looks nice and refurbed. That'd be 700 quid a month in London. <laughs> Not wrong, are you? But that path is scary and I don't think the gate's going to be open. Looks like it should be locked. Mm. I think Mary's got out from her second holiday home. <laughs> yeah. We've just done a mini launch. A mini 13 launch. Yeah, three train operation. Yeah. It's not bad, eh? Not yeah. bad first time this season. We were told that we might not get the launch, the infamous 13 launch at the end of the ride, but we still got one. A we mini did. one. I know. Not bad at all, yeah. eh? Yeah. So even with three trains. We're in the way here, we should move. Mm, we're not that in the way. No, we are. Okay. All right. Definitely Let's in the way. Do you want to walk and talk or wait and talk? I think, was it good? Yeah. I enjoyed it. Cool. Yeah. Done. Take the trim off the first drop and I'll be very, very happy. And that. Sorry, I'm in your face with this. Yeah. But do you know what I, I saw? God. There's um there's a like a, a plate where they could add more trims. Nice, more let's not trims. do that. It's family enough, thank you. 13 aka trim the ride. <laughs> this is Dark Thunder. It's an Aldi special. It's 69. 69p. Um I'm getting a call. Terrible. <laughs> it's not worth 69p. Ah well, how was Rita? Good, we had a good time, didn't we? We enjoyed it. Bit bit rough. But oh, it's Rita, isn't it? Yeah, but it was okay. It was manageable. Rita's not normally that. I'm gonna have to end it because Ben's ringing me. Hi Ben. New merch. Yeah. It looks a bit more green than yellow, but maybe that's the lighting in here. Does it look green to you or yellow? Uh, a little greenish. It's a little bit green. I Never think it's because it's over the top of the black. Yeah. Mm, an extra yeah. layer. Yeah. It's a smiler train with no wheels. It is. And what we're saying, what we're saying, coin, coin wise, what we're talking? Uh, 18, 18 pounds. Yes. Not the best resin of the park, but it's still good if you like the Smiler, I guess. I, I agree, I agree. I think it was inevitably going to come at some point, wasn't it, to match yeah. all the rest. But it's good that the park are still releasing new merch. Mm. Yes. I like the acid wash tea. Oh no, this is new. Oh. What is this? It's an Udi. Oh. It's very big, actually. For That's five foot three Beth, this That's is long. a big pocket. Imagine how many Dark Thunders you can put in there. Hang on. It's so a, many Dark it's Thunders. No, no, it isn't. Look. Oh, it's so your hands to sit in. Yeah. Comfy. And you've got you've got B just on top there. All cosy wozy with you. That's cute. Nice. Yeah. Like yeah. She'd like how this. How much is that one? Is it that? No. No, that's, that's the cap. It's 50 pounds. <gasps> 50? It's 50. I'm surprised at that. 30 it max. It's heavy though. Like, it pretty is heavy. Good it's lined. Mm. Yeah, I guess hoodies yeah. are quite pricey really, aren't yeah. they, yeah. actually? Yeah. But. And that looks a bit like the same style bag as the Hyperion one. Yeah. yeah. But with no wings. But it's got... Oh, that's that cool. cool. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. yeah. Ah. All right. Some nice little updates. Yeah. I Thanks. Would, I want one of those, but with the Hyperion logo on. Because I'm convinced yeah. it's the same t-shirt. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yes. It's almost like it's run by the same company. Thorpe, get yourselves down here. <laughs> yeah. Scratch that off and put a Hyperion logo on. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Found him. Hello. Hola! Uh, we were singing. We were singing a particular song by Miss Minogue. Should we give them a little, uh, <laughs> a little rep so you... I'm spinning around, get that's out it. of my You'll way. Have to come down oh, for yeah. the next bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's true. Don't give them everything. That'll be on Patreon. <laughs> Check out the page. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just using your bit for my content instead. <laughs> no. Is that a bit where they've welded? I see <laughs> some fresh weld. <laughs> CBB's Land is 10 years old this year, which sounds mad. I can't believe it's been for 10 years. As part of that celebration, there has been a massive festival uh, over here on the lawns, which is cool. Guess what? It's done with. Guess what again? It's staying. They're actually bringing it back for summer, which is really cool. So there's loads of entertainment. You've got the big stage that's being used. There's all the other bars and stuff. Obviously, they've rethemed it and it's not selling alcohol for the kids. There's other, there's like snow cones and stuff like that, but it's 
nice to see something that worked well that they're keeping and having some summer entertainments I think is really good. Yes, it's for the kids, yes, it's for the families, but you know what? I wouldn't be opposed to watching it at some point. Beth was just saying that she's been here with B, her daughter, before, and there was a guy doing like raps about dinosaurs, so sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Hands out, please. <laughs> Step forwards. Oh, no. Right. Have you been touching the tentacles? I've touched a few tentacles, yeah. She definitely right. has. Only way to get rid of it, spin around until you're busy. Trust me, it works. It may, it may be stupid, but it works. Desi? Yeah. Wow, there you go. Yours. That's how you get rid of contamination. Thank you. How many spins? Just until you're dizzy. <laughs> until you're dizzy. There you go, pure now. Pure. Yeah. Perfectly alright. Did you join Nemesis Reborn? Oh. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> actually, it's the first time I've done the front row that wasn't in the pouring rain. <laughs> And I think that might actually have been my best ride on this because opening day I didn't get anywhere near the front I just had middle carriages for me. I just love front row. I love being able to see everything like lead where we're going I know it's more intense at the back, but I love me front rows and that mwah, Chef's kiss. Stuff. Yeah, I was oh. sure that we were gonna get back I was like oh, I want a back row and then we got front and I was like actually yeah It's nice to see where you're going especially the the smoke as you go back over the station, we fully like got that in our face and that was that really cool. That was cool, that yeah. was cool. You don't really get that on any of the rows, so that was nice, no, I appreciate no. that. No, you just kind of see it happen at the sides, but that yeah. was full like, boom. boom. Oh, lovely. oh, it was lovely. Hey, question though, this or Hyperia? Put me on the spot now. Very different rides, but I prefer the full experience of this. Yes, I think, as a coaster, the layout, the elements, Hyperior is hands down, there's no question about it. Yeah. But I oh, I love my theming. Yeah. I love my storytelling, I, lo I love the immersion. And this Nail on the head. Can't be bit. Can't be beat. Yeah. Sorry, bit. <laughs> I wish Hyperior had like proper theming and story and stuff. Yeah. I know it does, but it doesn't, does it? It's more of a six flags amusement park, look at this cool yeah. coaster than yeah. this whole immersive area. Yeah. yeah, but I mean they literally blew up the grounds to get the rocky atmosphere around here like back in the 90s. Genius. They just filled in a lake and then put a coaster on it. It's not the same is it? <laughs> it's not the same. Not the same. But I'm glad you enjoyed it and I'm glad you're here with us. Yeah. Right, let's go find the group because they have a little left. Oh, the bus driver's over there. Oh, he's funny. It's going to go further down. If we're lucky, it's not where it is. We need more tentacles to get it this way. Well, I'm not sure if that's done the damage or if that's how you get it out. Oh, do you reckon the tentacles pushed it in? Because I'm getting mixed messages from Phalanx and from Signature Troopers. I'm getting different stories. They're saying Nemesis is trying to help get the bus out. Yeah. Phalanx say it's dangerous. We've got to keep it locked down. It's, that's what's done it in the first Maybe place. Maybe Galactica will save the day and be a neutral party. Oh, you're talking the realms of fantasy now. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what Galactic is. Sounds a bit far-fetched to me, that. I don't know. Yeah. But I don't know how we're going to shift it. At least the tyres are looking all right. Far out on the horizon. Well, what's it's gone as well? Windscreen's gone. Oh. I don't know how I'm going to shift. I'm going to do me back and try and shift that tyre. I'll never get it out of it myself. Have you got your cash from taking? <laughs> well, they're not buying today. And you've seen oh. this. I've said earlier on, look at the state of this. This was working a trick in 1973 and it's packed in. They don't last five minutes. They still make them like they used to, do they? Tap they on, don't. tap off now. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's just pencil and paper for me. Yeah. That's it, old These school. fancy phones and cards. Oh, I don't, I don't understand this. Phones should be attached to the wall with a cord, <laughs> shouldn't they? <laughs> That's what you're supposed to have. That's back like it was in my day. Have your phone on the wall. Mobile phone, that was but carrying buttons. 2p and 5p for the phone box, wasn't it? Buttons or a rotary dial. Yeah, that's no well. Buttons? Buttons? <laughs> Science fiction, that. <laughs> but this, fingers are doing the walking. That's the business. I know. I know I'm going shifting. I'm going to have to have a word. I'm going to have to bring somebody. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm you'll, find, you'll find the next phone in the wall over there. Is it over there? Yeah. I'm going to lose out again. I'm going to have to go get it. I'm going to have to bring somebody. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> It's nice well, to talk to you. I hope your bus is safe. Well, you get it out. It's got, right. They put a fence around it now. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, Phalanx looks black. Oh, it's only gone five minutes. Oh. What's happened to it? 
smoking. Yeah, it reacts as the train goes round. Mm. Theming. <laughs> Is that all right, Clive? I've not, really, I've not even got a fire distinguisher. I can distinguish it's not a fire. It's a what? I don't think it is a fire. I've heard, I've heard if you trump on it with enough force, that put out. Look at this. He's gross, isn't he? The things I've heard here, obviously. You, if, if you jump on it, it'll put it out. I'll remember that. You need, yeah. you need these tips to fight the phalanx. I'm going to have to write it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm undercover! Oh, <laughs> Even I won't laugh enough miss that. Do you think it's dispatch? But I don't know if it had just uh, one of the other trains had just come back in and there was like a sort of a, a creaky roar, very reminiscent to like a nemesis creature roar. Oh. So I think the plot the plot thickens. They're teasing for next year, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's gonna have to be a retheme, right? I think that's pretty obvious because this is very out of place within Forbidden Valley. And that would be such a clever little Easter egg for them to be like, hey, this is what's coming. And I was thinking if it's kind of like a, we have found other nemesis creatures within the galaxy. Yeah. Or something like that. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. That would make sense. Or they could just rip the thing out. Or yeah, they could just rip the thing out, as Ben said. Get, get something new. Uh, a Vacoma flying coaster. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like... It was good for what it is. It was the prototype flying coaster, wasn't it? When yeah. First, like yeah, great, but let's get new prototypes. Do you know what I mean? Get, yeah, exactly. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what. I'll... No, but you like your worlds first. Yeah. Get rid of your worlds first and give us a new one. Yeah. Please, because that's horrible. It's I hate it. Yeah, Mum and Jay's first go didn't enjoy that, did you? No, <laughs> that's all we're getting. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> No. But yeah, interesting sounds. Mm. Watch this space. Space! That was a pun, I didn't mean to do that. Mm. Look at me. Yeah, I've got your little magnifying glass. Of course I have! Always. Yeah, you're doing another little like, investigation, here you go. Always, mate, always on the case. There yeah, it is. There we go. Let's see what's going on here. Look at this one, eh? What's, what's this, going eh? On here? And them over there, the phalanx. Yeah. This is all one massive conspiracy and it's a joke. It is. I'm not here. A... Call you me for what's it. What's up, beefy? Look, hold this. <laughs> what's this, eh? Just look through it. See? You see the truth through that? Can't hey! You? Can you see it? <laughs> that was good, that. See the truth through it. You see the truth through this one? Look. As soon as I look through this, everything becomes clear. I know. <laughs> it's a clear path. It's, like, do, it's like dueling out my glasses. I know. Do you know what I mean? It like can't... Oh, yo, massive in this, you know. I bet you know. Yo, massive. I know. Look at that. Perfect, eh? Hey. Love that. See the truth through that. <laughs> Hello, Project Ocean. So a little update here. You've got the two bits on the side, which were in the planning documents. And then it's going to be a big concrete thing and we're going to uh, have a tunnel in the middle of it, which will be cool. So all this will be accessible. And you see, obviously the ride won't go above the tree line per Alton Towers, as usual. But everyone believes it's a, uh, a top spin model by Huss. And there is a, oh, there's a branch in my mouth. Uh, there is a event on Friday and we think they might be announcing it then. So by the time you see this, they might have already announced it. And maybe I'll add some graphics on the bottom if that's happened. So uh, we'll see if we're right. Okay, we need to go find the rest of the group now. Let's go. Also, thanks Ben for holding the tree out my way. <laughs> There's a sticker on the container that says super heavy. Really? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna try and lift the container because I go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really go to What can you see, detective? What do you lift? I containers. <laughs> um, a big tent and containers that looks exactly the same as survival games. Yeah, that's and what we can see. And some holes cut out and some walls being built inside out of wood. Very exciting. It's by Curse, so I think it's going to be Curse-themed maze for uh, Scarefest. Or it's an indoor RMC, Wild Moose. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Please. Hello. Have you got a stew for me today? You've not made it, have you? No, but... But... Oh, okay. For you! Yeah, da ba da ba! And they're free. Are they? Yeah. You, should we both have one? You can have one! With that! With it! <laughs> it's green. It it's sticky. Eat it! No, please! <laughs> <laughs> it tastes of leaf. Leaf. Do you believe her? She's come back. <gasps> back from the yeah. 
And she's now a sticky frog. Sticky frog? Yeah. Is he alright? No. no. I've had some stew. No. Have you fallen over? <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stew. Oh no, raining! Stew time! Oh no, it is actually going to rain it's horribly. Stew time! Hello! Hi. Ben, come say hi! This is Mary. Mary the gardener with her really nice nails. Yes, we have. Yeah. We've met. Yeah, we've met many times. Yeah. Have you done a lot of work today, Mary? I uh... <laughs> No, I haven't. I was going to say your nails are perfect condition, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's for Henry. Oh, not this Henry. Is he flashing his underwear again? What? Is he there? Hey, Hen. No, not Hen. Henry. Henry. What's he saying? I can't hear him. There's glass. It's too noisy, isn't it? Who's playing that music? Excuse me. Hello. Yes. Is this Mary? Mary. Mary. Who, who are these? No. It was you. It was yeah, you was you. Oh! You do. Have you got some important documents for kids' Who? Well, I hope they're not for Rishi because he's already left the country. <laughs> Probably. He's gone. <laughs> We have had an absolutely wonderful day here, checking out all the updates, etc. It's been superb, it's been lovely to hang out with everyone, but this is not the closing video, no. We've been very fortunate to be invited to a private group hire of Wickerman, which is why we've not done it yet, because I love Wickerman, so I would have already been on it. But no, we've been waiting for this ERT, so we have an hour to ride on it very soon. Very grateful to be invited, so thank you to our friend who has invited us along. It was a nice little group of us, and it's gonna be a Superb! So we'll catch you after this. Holy moly, macaroni or something like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Eleven rides in total there. So I have now ridden every seat on Wicker Man. Bingo. Then Henry did it. Bingo. Another bingo. And then Ben did it. Where's he gone? Bingo! Oh, uh, <laughs> I only had two to get. To be fair. Bingo. How many did you have to get? I think it was like six. So six. more than you, but less than Ben. And then Ben had to get nine in, many, and he just managed to get nine in. He's going to count now. Whilst Two, we're... four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Eight. So literally eleven. Good going. Every eleven, single ride. Eleven he did seats. It. Eleven rides. Yeah. Smashed it. That so thank you to our friend for inviting us. It's been wonderful. Smashing my our favourite ride out all evening. Um, the staff have been absolutely incredible as always. I mean, dealing with those nerds, trying to do everything, which is always nice of them. Thanks guys! There they go, we're saying bye to them. Bye Red Ops! Lovely. Um, they were really into it, they were helping us get on all the seats as well, really nice. So yeah, crazy day. Question, what is next Walton Towers? All sorts. There's been so many updates around the park. There's so much to come with Oktoberfest and Scarefest and even like the updates with the dungeons and stuff, you know, there's lots coming so keep those peepers peeled detectives because there's plenty more to come and we'll be here on the case when we can. So from myself and all the many detectives that have been here today, case closed. <laughs>